So prefab houses or houses built in factories really caught my eye a few months ago because they seemed a lot less expensive than regular houses. But when I really looked into it, I was totally wrong. A lot of these prefabs are just as expensive, if not more, than regular houses. However, I recently stumbled across one that's only $50,000. And even crazier, it can be assembled in about an afternoon. So today, we're gonna take a look at this more affordable prefabricated home. So like I said, this is $50,000 for essentially a 20 by 20 studio with a kitchen and bathroom. Boxable basically is our attempt to solve the housing affordability and create you know, a new type of building system that can hopefully dramatically lower housing costs for the entire world. Many prefabs are built in a factory, but then still need weeks or even a couple months to assemble on site. Boxables is different because it truly comes in a box that you can assemble within an hour. All you have to do after that is hook up your electrical and plumbing. The different walls of this prefab are on hinges, so you can see that it folds down and then they prop it back up to get that main part of the prefab out. Obviously, they have to use some equipment, but it's pretty minimal compared to what other prefabs and traditional houses use, and they only needed it for an hour. And then the other walls just swing out, and I actually tried it myself and found it was super easy to do. Assembling the roof is a little more effort, so we didn't do it today, but all in all, this is a home that can truly be set up within an afternoon, which is pretty insane. Easier than Ikea furniture. Starting with this first unit, we're calling it the Casita. So it's basically, it's a small 20 by 20 20 room module, uh, the first one uh, in our system, and hoping to sell thousands of them into the California market to be used as little uh, backyard ADU houses. So let's take a look inside this casita model. It's very similar to a studio apartment. It's 400 square feet and it folds down small enough to actually be shipped on a highway. In the front, you'll find a sitting area. They just put a small couch here and a TV. And then walking in, you'll see the kitchen and the sleeping area. The kitchen has all the appliances you would expect of a regular home. I will say it's not super high-end modern design, but keep in mind this is a $50,000 prefab. So here we have the kitchen. Amazingly, this place comes with the kitchen. You unfold it and this is all here. You just have to move the fridge and a couple other things. It's a solid kitchen. I mean, it is a full kitchen. It's got an oven, microwave, dishwasher, fridge, really everything. I gotta say personally, I feel the countertops are a little cheap cheap looking, but this is really the cost effective option. They're not going for the luxury high end. They went with a laminate sheet that is $65 for a four by eight compared to something like quartz, which is gonna be $50 per square foot. Sure, they could have gone with something a little nicer, but it's just not gonna stay within that $50,000 price range. And that is something that you can upgrade, you can customize and change this later. The goal was to make this an actually affordable base model. So that's why they went with these kind of less expensive options. So the style they went with is pretty traditional, but you can imagine how if you put like some quartz in here, it could look really upscale. And the fact that it all folds out is kind of insane. I've never heard of anything like that. I feel like the cabinets were fine. They're totally on par with what you find in a lot of apartments and different houses. It, for me, you know, it's the countertops for me, I gotta be honest, but I totally get it. I respect it. You know, they're going for the affordable options, so they've got to do that. Adjacent to the kitchen is a sleeping area with a built-in closet unit. They fit a queen size bed in here. I'm sure you could fit even a little bigger of a bed if you wanted. They added a good amount of windows on this side. So you can imagine if we weren't filming this in a factory, it would get some nice natural light. They added this closet in the middle of the prefab to block off the sleeping area from the living area and also to provide storage. So it can fit some stuff. It's obviously not as big as a regular closet, but it is kind of on par with what you'd find with the studio apartment. I think it's a good little storage solution. I like that it has the lights inside of it. Personally, I don't think I could fit all of my stuff in here, but this is totally customizable. I think they actually added this on later, so it, I don't think it would ship with this. And then of course there is a bathroom. They went with that same kind of countertop and you know, they did make this look pretty modern on a budget. This does look decently nice, I think, for the amount that they spent. Again, it's not my choice of countertop per se, but you gotta admit like with the mirror and everything, it does look pretty modern. One thing you'll notice in here is that there are hinges on the ceiling because it folds up. Those are just kind of there permanently. 
Um, it's similar to the other prefab that had some wires on the ceiling. I think that's just something that a lot of these prefabs have. So I don't think this is necessarily such a bad thing, but it does make it clear that this is not a typical home. It's just a giveaway that this thing can fold up if it needs to. One thing you wouldn't know by looking at it is that the walls of this casita are made to handle just about anything. That's insane. Yeah, it doesn't even change colors or anything. Color, While nothing is fully fireproof, they did use non-combustible materials to make this incredibly fire resistant, which is really important since they plan on putting these in California. The walls are totally different than a normal house that are lumber. So it kind of makes a mark, but that's like it. This is made of both steel and a type of foam, so it is pretty durable. I'm hitting it with a sledgehammer and just barely making a dent. This whole entire wall here is all laminated in one single solid block. These are bent by a, uh, basically by a robot, so they'll be, they'll be laser cut and bent um, before anyone even touches them. It's yeah. not a bunch of pieces of lumber kind of nailed together, so it's rock solid. One thing I think is pretty cool and similar to shipping containers is you can stack these on top of each other and connect them to make an even bigger prefab. So here's one where they connected a few of them together to make multiple rooms and a bigger living room. They also added upgraded foldable doors, so it definitely looks more high end. So you can see how you could take that basic casita, connect some together, upgrade certain parts, and really make it a lot nicer looking if you wanted to. We're gonna end up rolling out a full building system where we're basically mass producing standardized room modules in the factory that then stack and connect in the field to build uh, almost any custom building. Hopefully we'll be able to stack them, you know, up, up to five, five to seven stories high. Um, you'll be able to connect them endlessly. We'll have uh, different sized modules with different interior mm -hmm. configurations and basically endless, endless combinations of those. So like I said, you can customize it and add in these really high-end doors, but they are pretty expensive, so you're gonna definitely be climbing past $50,000 at that point. One of the models that we already made, uh, we had a sponsor who gave us a big multi-slide glass window. So basically we swapped out the whole front wall it was all a glass multi-slide window. Oh, like the doors that you just open yep, up? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and uh, really nice upscale. I think the window might have cost more than the entire house though. Right, so <laughs> when you're trying to do an affordable one, you can't go and add things like the quartz countertops and like the, slide, the floor to ceiling windows because that would just make it. Yeah, we don't want to go crazy with that stuff, but the system is very customizable. So we kind of want to be hands off and just produce a standardized unit in the factory uh, with repeatability and build the same thing over and over so we can get a lot of efficiency and, and high quality and low cost. Mm -hmm. But if people want to modify these once they're on site, uh, the system totally works for that. I think, you know, boxable, in my opinion, isn't as beautiful as the cover prefab. That one is just so modern, stunning, really high-end options. They did everything you can imagine to upgrade it, but it is $200,000, so it doesn't really make that much sense for most people. You're really only going to find these in the backyards of multi-million dollar homes. They're not really for the average person. Boxable may not be as aesthetically beautiful, but it was way more affordable and it assembles faster. It just seems more accessible for people and honestly, I think you could upgrade certain things and make it look a lot better. When you take into consideration that it's only $50,000, they did a really good job making this thing look modern. What made you guys go for the affordable prefabs versus these ultra modern, like really high-end ones that you see? Yeah, you know, our, our goal here was to solve a, a huge problem that exists. There's a, sh a, sh a shortage of affordable housing. So, you know, if we can efficiently mass produce these, we're going to solve a lot of problems. We're going to bring costs down overall for everyone. The way we look at a uh, building construction market, we see that this is the last big kind of pre-factory industry. Uh, so there's a huge opportunity to correct that. All the other products in our modern world, like iPhones and cars and sneakers and all that. They're low cost and high quality because they're mass produced using assembly line principles in a factory. That has not translated into housing. So we basically re-engineer a system that we think is compatible with factory mass production so that we can hopefully crank these out faster and at a lower cost than anyone's ever done before. People compare it to a mobile home. Yeah, yeah, but in reality, it's, it's quite the opposite. 
Um, because we wanted this building system to work anywhere on the planet, we had to engineer it for all the different climate issues. So high wind in Florida or earthquakes in California. I can see the mobile home comparison because this base model, it does kind of look and feel a little like a mobile home. It's all in the finishes though. When they have the upgraded windows and doors and cabinets and everything, it really feels nothing like a mobile home. It feels very high end. So that is a look at a more affordable prefab. Let me know what you guys thought of it. I saw all your comments on the last prefab video I did and everyone just thought it was so insane how it was so expensive. It just wasn't really affordable. So I thought it would be interesting to see what a more affordable prefab gets you. Obviously you're not gonna get as high end of finishes, but I thought it still looked pretty good. I mean, quality wise, it reminded me of the luxury apartments in LA. Luxury apartments in LA have like laminate flooring and also this did not include the cost of land and the cost of actually hooking up the electrical and plumbing once it's set up that can cost several thousand more and obviously land can be really expensive like you plop that fifty thousand dollar house in LA all of a sudden it's a million dollar house hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did like it that really helps me in the YouTube algorithm and I will see you guys in my next video bye